Sweetheart, I wanted to surprise you. Herbert and I are making the breakfast this morning. Now you run along and get your housework done. Well, it better be good. I'm hungry this morning. Well, ain't we all? <laughs> oh, mm, those new fandangle ice boxes. Oh! I broke my vaccination at How do you like that? Guaranteed for five years, and they only got it yesterday. Oh. That's more like it. Jim, what on earth is going on here? It could have been worse. No, no. Honey, did you slip? No, I'm baking a cake. Hey, but you shouldn't do that. It ain't sanitary. You know that. Yes, I know you'll know it. Here, go ahead. There. Get a hold of it. That's how people get this temper, dragging things around from one mouth to another. Hey, buddy, come and get this. I can't, I can't lay, raise this. Oh. Get out of here! Get out of here! Hey, buddy, let go of my dog! <laughs> Cut it out, will you? Cut it out! Cut it out, will you? He's down. Hey, get, take him off me! Get out of here! Hey! He's a glutton for punishment. <laughs> He's down again. He's up again. I wonder if I moved on the wrong side of the track. Breaking up housekeeping, boys? Honey. There's some new neighbors moving in next door. Yes, I noticed some of their furniture. They have some nice pieces. Yeah, swell pieces all over the lawn. <laughs> you know, they're the Batses. He's head of the Bats Manufacturing Company. They have a lot of war contracts. Bombs and things. Oh, boy, bombs. <laughs> a direct hit. I do hope the new people are nice. Shemp, please try not to get into arguments with them the way you did with the Nelsons. Oh, that old sourpuss, always making a mountain out of a molehill. Remember how he sizzled when I burned his garage down? <laughs> you know, Shemp, I think you should get acquainted with Mr. Batts. Maybe there's something you can do to help him get moved. Sure, I can give him a hand. I'll go over right after breakfast. Oh. Allow me, sweet maiden. Wonder who that can be. It can't be the milkman, it's too late. How do you do? Hi. I'm Mrs. Batts from next door. Oh, well, won't you come right in? I'm always very neighborly. Well, uh, 
My husband uh, has a flat tire, and I wonder if you could help him fix it. Well, now, isn't that odd? Two minds with but a single thought. I was just going over to see if I could help you. Wait till I get my tools. Oh. Mrs. Batts, I almost forgot. My mother-in-law's daughter. Why, how do you do? I'm very pleased to have you as my neighbor. Thank you. Well, bye. Honey, you keep moving around. You were standing right there a minute ago. I know it. Believe me. Well, there's company here. Well, come on. This ain't getting the tire fixed. Goodbye. Goodbye. Right out this way. Darling. Darling, this is Mr. Howard, our next-door neighbor. Oh, and how do you do? And what's that name? My wife calls me Angel. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And this is my husband. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> Oh, honey, you run along. This ain't much of a job. It's only flat on the bottom. Oh, all right. See you later. Goodbye. Bye. Swell kid. <laughs> hey, bud, you know the old saying, many hands make light work. I'm right here with you. That's it. That's it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got it up high enough. What the guy? Oh. How do you expect to find anything in there when you can't see? Oh, oh! I'll get it for you. Oh. Here it is, right here. Oh. Go ahead, go on. Oh. It's a good thing I come over to you. Never got that tire fixed. Oh. Go easy on those tools, will you? No, no, you turn it the wrong way. Let me now get away from All me. Right. Get away from me. All right. I'll get you something to hit it with. No! 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 Get me out of here! What's oh. the matter? What's the matter? Oh. oh, why did you put your foot under there? Oh. You might have known it was going to hit you. Oh. 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 Now oh. don't act like oh. a baby. Don't act like a baby. I'll get you out of there in a jiffy. Oh. Hey, you better get those brakes fixed. My goodness, what in the world happened? Oh, the jack slipped and he got his foot caught. Oh, How did you oh. happen to marry such a clumsy old ox? And what happened to the garage? Why doesn't he get his brakes fixed? If I hadn't discovered it, he might have killed somebody. Oh, thank you. That's all right, lady. Glad to help at any time. Jonathan! What's the matter? Mr. Howard has explained everything. We're so glad he was able to help, aren't we? Any time. Now, is there anything else I can do for you while I'm here? Yes. You... Oh, thank you so much. Jonathan, weren't you saying you wanted some help with that barrel of dishes? No. All right. Let's get at it while I'm in the mood. No. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, I don't want it. Oh, no. Well, grab hold of it. Do you want Mr. Howard to do all the work? What are you waiting for? Music? Go ahead. That's it. Now look what you've done. Now look. No! Now take it easy, Bob. They're not all broken. Oh, don't tell me. A hole in one! I'll get you out in a minute. In a minute. 
Oh, oh! Why didn't you tell me you were coming up? Oh, I'll get you. Take it easy now. Oh, wait a minute, Oh, uh, he sure fixed things up this time. Does he always have that much trouble? Well, I hadn't noticed. Oh, yes. oh, I'm so glad my chef has been able to help you folks. Indeed, I don't know what Mr. Bats and I would have done without him. Oh, you're the Mr. Bats I've heard so much about. Batsite Super X. Most powerful explosive in the world, isn't it, Jonathan? Say, Bob, you ain't as dumb oh, as you... Oh, I almost forgot what I came over for. I thought you folks might like a snack, so I baked this pie for you. Oh, isn't that lovely? I do hope you enjoy it. Yes. Come on, Chimp. We'll see you folks later. Yeah, Thank Bob, you. you want me to just call me? No, Annie, I just can't stand one more thing. Ever since I set eyes on that human horsefly, one bad thing after another has happened to me. Now, now, Jonathan, you come over here and relax. Sit down. <laughs> You should relax, dear. Annie, what did you do with the pie? Tell me you did put it away, didn't you? Tell me you did. Oh, oh. What a joint, what a layout. You know, I got a little laboratory in my basement. Not like this, of course, but neat and efficient. I got a boiler in the laundry stove, a couple of yards of copper tubing, and the product is terrific. Look at the beads on that. That's a sham special. That's what I'm experimenting with. Can't have a whiff of that. Oh. Oh. What on earth is that? That's a sham special. One slug of that and I'm in the pink. Two slugs and I'm in the doghouse. You want to try a slug? What happened? He outflanked me. Hey! Mr. Howard, are you still helping my husband? Well, I haven't really exerted myself as yet, but give me time, give me time. <laughs> lovely day, isn't it? It sure is lovely. Yes, indeed, lovely. Well, I didn't think it was that lovely. Saving this for the 4th of July? Oh, no, that's my husband's blockbuster. You know, if that were loaded with bat sight, it'd be the equivalent of a thousand pound bomb? No kidding. Oh, hey, but shut your eyes. I'm going to bomb me like a hammer. Go ahead and let me take off. Bomber data pilot, steady on course. Look out, you idiot. That bomb's loaded. Uh -oh. Uh -oh, look out, look out. Look out. Look out for that. Oh. Oh. Give me that, you drunk, Bill. If you'd have dropped that, you'd have blown up the whole neighborhood. The way you talk, you'd think uh, I did it on purpose. I live in this neighborhood, no. too. Oh. Duck! Oh. That's supposed to be 14 times stronger than TNT. And all it does is go piffed. I'm ruined. Thousands of people are going to be out of work, and I'm going to close down my plant. Don't be discouraged, old man. Don't be discouraged. Take a slug of Shem special. It'll steam you up. Go ahead. Give me that. What's the matter? You got gas on your stomach? What is it, kid? Soft coal? When is it? It'll cloud up, don't worry. Oh, don't ever use that. You'll get round shoulder. I'll get you something to straighten you out. Yeah. Just move it up and down. Fast. Good morning, Mrs. Howard. I just had to come over and see you. I'm so worried about my husband. Do you know he spent all last night working in his lab? Didn't even stop to eat. And your husband, he acts just like a tonic to him. Why talk a failure at a time like this? I'll straighten them out in no time. 
Now, don't thank me. Don't thank me. It's a mere trifle. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh Shemp, did you hurt yourself? No, no. It wasn't lightning, was it? No. Hi, neighbor. Here you're having a little trouble. Surprised you didn't call on me. Say, buddy, can't you find something to do at home? Something that'll occupy that little tiny brain of yours? If you and I weren't such good friends, my feelings would have been hurt. No. Here, let me get that for you. No, no, move, get down. Now get down. I'll get down. Oh, oh. A little dash of this in your bat's head will be all right. Hey, hey, be careful. Oh, look out. Oh, ah, sneak. Oh. Ah, ah, Jumped off that ladder, this never would have happened. Jumped! Oh. Where are you going? What are you gonna do? Split some wood? No, I'm splitting your head. Whoa! Slug of this and your troubles will go up and smoke. That's all your fat side needed was a Jigger Shem special. Thanks. My bad. 